Hello everybody and welcome back once again here to IndieSportsCrew.com and my Monday Night Reaction. And Tonight, for the first time all season, for the 2013 season, we're going to talk about a Colts loss. I know it's only week two, but this was actually a very important game. Miami comes to town, the Dolphins beat the Colts 24-20, to dropping the Colts to 1-1 on the season. And this is going to be big for a couple of different reasons that we're going to touch on here real quick. But the first thing that jumped out at me about this game and while I was watching this game is just how even these two teams were. I don't know if these are elite level teams because you know I've seen Denver play already this season. I've seen Atlanta, which those are my two Super Bowl picks for the season in the AFC and the NFC respectively. Uh, Seattle looked very good. But, but Miami and Indianapolis looked very even. And I, I, Before the season started, I had Indianapolis getting a wild card berth and I had Miami on the outside looking in could be reversed due to this result here in week two but just to go over a couple things how even the game was passing yards Indianapolis 321 Miami 319 rushing yards Indianapolis 133 Miami 101 first downs Indy 23 Miami 21 each team had one turnover time of possession Indianapolis 30 minutes and 34 seconds Miami 29 26 it doesn't really get much more even than that, and that's why the game came down to the very end, and it was a four-point contest. These teams were very evenly matched. Secondly, the biggest concern coming out of this game for the Colts is the offensive line play. Not only uh, in that second half where it was Miami able to get into the backfield, get pressure on Andrew Luck, they did a pretty good job of bottling up the run, yeah, Colts rushed for 133 yards, but it wasn't a dominating rushing attack. And they were able to get to Andrew Luck in the second half, especially when the Colts were trying to put together drives. He was doing a lot of scrambling, uh, a lot of shuffling around in the pocket, and trying to buy time to find a receiver. And he does a good job of that. We've seen him do it many times before, but you can't consistently do that each and every play. Um, another big concern, Donald Thomas, starting guard for the Colts, out for the season with a torn quad muscle. So that's a big concern, as, as now... You weren't very strong on the offensive line to begin with. Now you add injury to that. You're thin up front. Now you're going to be shuffling where guys are going to be playing. Joe Wrights is probably going to have to step in and play a lot more. And you're just not very solid up there, and that's not what you can have when you're trying to be a playoff team. And this is a major, major concern moving forward. And maybe they can try to find someone out there to bring in, but as of right now, a major concern. They gave up three sacks to Miami on Sunday. Could be more next week as they go to San Francisco, which we'll talk about in a second. Thirdly is the actual playoff implications this game could have. I know it's only week two. You have 14 regular season games remaining. There's a long time to go before the playoffs. But these two teams look to be in the hunt for playoff spots coming down the road. This could be a possible tiebreaker. These two, if these two teams finish with the exact same record, Miami gets into the playoffs based on head-to-head, -head, and the Colts could be at home watching the playoffs, which you don't want to be at, obviously. And then the last thing you have to look at, this was a major loss because it was a home game. And the reason it was even, even losing at home may not be a huge issue. It's a big deal, but it's not a huge issue. The reason this, this loss could be a huge issue is, Issue is the upcoming upcoming schedule for the Colts, which is not going to be easy. Like I mentioned, you're at San Francisco, at Jacksonville. Then you have Seattle comes to town. You go to San Diego. Denver and Peyton Manning come in for the primetime game by week at Houston. That's your next six games. That's a tough road. Yeah, the Jacksonville game, you know, you look at that as a win, but it's still on the road, and it's a division rival game. You know they're going to be up for that. And these other games, these are huge games. You have to at least be 4-4 four and four coming out of this if you want a chance to make the playoffs. The back half of the schedule is a little bit easier. I don't want to say it's super easy and you're going to be able to coast and win all eight, but you got to be able, you got to be in position. If the Colts are at least 500 after that Houston game, which is a Sunday night contest on NBC. If you're at least 500 after that, you have a legitimate shot of getting yourself back to the playoffs. If not, if you're below 500, it's a long road home, and I'm not sure they're going to be able to recuperate from that. Big things coming up. Starts this week in San Francisco. If they can bounce back and get a huge win on the road, could go a long way to getting back to the playoffs. Tough loss. You got to recover. That's how it goes in the NFL. And like I said last week, you know, the NFL season's so long, but each and every week you got to survive and you got to advance. You lost this week, you come back next week, you try to rebound from that, get yourself a W. Thanks for coming to IndieSportsCrew.com, and we'll see you again next time.